Well, this morning, evacuations are underway in southern Illinois after heavy rains overwhelmed a reservoir in Nashville, Illinois. That's located in Washington County and 59 miles west of St. Louis. Officials have told about 200 people who live in those homes to leave the area and they have conducted several water rescues. Reporter Laura Bercheski shows us how one woman was rescued by boat. Well, every piece of furniture that you see in here floating all over the place. And it was, you know, and that's the thing is like, you think about how heavy this right here is a pullout couch. Erica Eaton says she was at her family's shed near the Nashville Reservoir working to fix up her RV when the rain came pouring down. At first, she didn't think anything of it. And then I decided I was gonna take a little nap. I wake up at about 8.15 and there is water up to my ankles. In a matter of seconds, the water was up to her calves. And when she realized she wasn't going to be able to make it out on her own with her two dogs and cat, she called 911. So about 20 minutes after I was on the call, the water had gone from just below my calf to above my waist. And at that point, the ladies, you know, she's trying to tell me, you know, we have to look for a boat. Washington County Emergency Management says the water was rushing out of the dam so fast. There was enough water that the secondary dam, uh, which is a, uh, a sand earthworks, blew away. It was even hard for first responders to reach her by boat. Erica had to think just as fast as the water, grabbed her pets and loaded them up on a foam dog bed that somehow floated with all three of them on board so she could wade through the floodwaters to the boat that finally made it. At that point, you know, it's like when you see the boat, I'm like, I'm fine now because I know they're coming to get me. And while she and her fur babies are safe, she lost everything she had stored there. These are the things that have like all my photos and memories and all that. Kind of, it's just all wet. She was just one of the hundreds of people who had to escape the flash flood. I think the community is very strong. I love the volunteers that we have in this community. And without them, Erica says she wouldn't have made it out. That was one of those moments where you know this is where people die. The Washington County Emergency Management Director says several roads are closed and they're urging drivers to be careful in the area because parts of the road could be washed away.